Welcome back, I am Neharika and today's lesson we are going to learn to use the exclamation mark. Well, in many countries it's called as exclamation mark and in America it's called as exclamation point and it looks like this one. Well, it's a type of punctuation which uh, expresses uh, strong feelings such as surprise, anger, joy and excitement. Now, uh, in fact, when it comes to uh, using exclamation mark in writing, it's pretty similar to raising your voice or uh, shouting when speaking. Now, in today's lesson, we are going to look at some traditional rules of using the exclamation mark and also we will look at how it has changed over the years. Now, let's look at the first rule. To warn someone. Now, we end up using an exclamation mark when we warn someone in writing. Now, for example, stop. Okay, so you're warning someone. So, you end up using an exclamation mark. Or another example. Be careful. So again, you are trying to warn someone. Or another one is Don't touch. It's hot, okay? So again, here you are warning someone, so you end up placing the exclamation mark at the end of the sentence or the, at the end of the phrase, okay? Now, another rule of using the exclamation mark is to express anger. When you're extremely angry and you want to show that emotion, then you end up using the exclamation mark. For example, uh, you can say, please don't throw me in the pool. So you're here very angry, okay? Okay, so at the end of the sentence, you would end up placing the exclamation mark when you are trying to express your anger, right? Now let's have a look at the third rule here, strong command. Now when you are trying to indicate a strong command, you end up using an exclamation mark again at the end of a sentence. Uh, for example, this has to be done. Okay, so it's a very strong command. You're commanding someone. Or do it now. So again, rather than putting a full stop or rather than putting a period, you would end up placing an exclamation mark like do it now. Okay, so because it's a, you're indicating a strong command, okay? Now, the next rule is when you end up using an interjection. Now, remember, interjections do come in between the sentences also. It's not necessary that your sentence would end with an interjection. It can also begin or it can also come in between of a sentence. So, you end up using the exclamation mark after every interjection. For example, well, interjections, uh, we have also done a lesson before. You can definitely have a look and learn about interjections. But just to give you a basic knowledge, well, interjections are again expressions of anger, excitement, surprise. So, for example, ouch, that hurts. So, if you end up writing that, you're going to do ouch, that hurts. Okay, so that's how you would place your exclamation mark after you end up using an interjection. Or another example is, oh, she is so adorable. So again, oh is your interjection. She is so adorable. Okay, so that's how you would end up using the exclamation mark. And then the last rule 
for using the exclamation mark is when you are closing question with extreme emotions. So it is a question, but you don't end up putting a question mark. Okay, you end up putting an exclamation mark at the end. Well, because it's a question with extreme emotion, it's expressing extreme emotions. Like for example, what on earth are you doing? Okay, so it is a question, but you know, it has a very strong emotion to it. And that's why you would place an exclamatory mark. So this would go like this. So rather than placing a question mark here, you would place an exclamatory mark like, what on earth are you doing? Okay, so again, probably you are asking someone with anger, okay, you're extremely anger and you're asking someone this question, what on earth are you doing? Okay, so it is added with an extreme emotion uh, or probably, are you serious? So again, this is a question, are you serious? But you do not place a question mark, you would put an exclamatory mark, okay? So this is the way you would use uh, exclamatory marks when writing, okay? And also, please avoid exclamatory marks when you are uh, writing formally, okay? Like in formal writing, you do not use exclamation, all right? Now, let's have a look at how people have started using exclamation mark in today's world. Now, in the last few years, we have started to do more of informal writing as compared to what people used to. So, it's not much of formal writing, but yes, we are totally into informal writing. Well, thanks to the social media, well, a lot of Facebooking and we being on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so because of this social media, we end up using exclamation marks quite differently. Well, that's what we are going to look. Now, here are a couple of examples um, which would kind of give you an idea that how people tend to use an exclamation mark. Well, honestly, it's not wrong, but yes, um, it is more suitable to the social media. Okay, uh, if you see the first one, Happy New Year to all my friends and family. So probably you are wishing someone um, on the Facebook or you're texting to someone. So you are wishing people Happy New Year and then you place an exclamatory mark. So even if you are passing your birthday wishes to someone like, hey, happy birthday, and then you again place an exclamatory mark, then that's how people end up using it these days. So which is not wrong. Yes, you can do it, but make sure you just do it on Facebook or on Twitter or on informal texting, okay? Then the next one, that was an awesome game. We won. So here you are expressing your happiness and your excitement. So probably um, your team played a game or your country was playing uh, cricket or football and you're very excited because you won the game. So here that was an awesome game. Exclamation, because you are expressing happiness, excitement. We won. So again, exclamation because again you're expressing excitement okay so that's how you can use exclamation mark in today's world then the next one you are adorable so here you are expressing your love your affection for someone now people tend to comment on pictures on Facebook okay so they end up writing you are adorable or you are a beauty you look fantastic, okay? And they all end up with an exclamation mark, okay? So because you are expressing your love and affection and that's how you end up placing the exclamation mark, okay? And then the last example here, my new neighbor is so handsome. And then you have a couple of exclamation marks. Well, really, is that correct? Well, it is all right, because as I said, that with time, we have started using exclamation marks differently. So here, my new neighbor is so handsome. So you're adding a lot of emotion, okay, to this sentence. So probably he is very good looking and you are quite attracted to your new neighbor. And hence, you want to express that 
when you're writing it to someone so you place couple of exclamatory marks okay so these are few examples i'm sure you come across a lot of stuff especially if you are on facebook or on twitter or on instagram let me know what are the other few ways you can end up using the exclamation mark and hope this lesson is helpful to you i'll be back with a new lesson till then you take care